Okay, I thought I would do a small series of uh, just some real basic uh, methods and controls and functions of what Playmaker does. So here I have more or less an empty scene minus that cube, which is now empty, other than the terrain. Don't worry about that. So I will maybe we'll start with uh, with maybe a small health bar. Um, and there's two ways to make these really uh, well there's more than that but two solid ways anyways so you need a canvas okay we're going to go into 2d mode double click that so we can see a little better because this is a screen space overlay you can see it over here and you can change these to world space and stuff but we're just going to make that screen space overlay we're going to say scale with screen so no matter how I move the screen, and you'll see that in a second, it, it'll stay the same scale. So there's two ways to do health bars. Um, you could either A, just use an image, right? Just a simple image, nothing special about that. I'm actually going to move this down here. Yeah, see now as I scale, see how that health bar is staying in the same spot? That's a due to this being in screen space overlay, uh, scale of screen. So, <clears throat> an image. And I'm, I'm literally just going to scale it, but that's what happens, right? And who wants that? So, this little icon here, if I click on that, and then I press and hold Alt, Oh, and massive little hitting buttons here. Uh, shift. If I click this guy over here, I have now changed its pivot point. Its pivot is now over here, but now if I scale it, it's scaling from the pivot. Okay? So I could easily, say, turn this guy green. A nice pretty health bar. So we scale him to five. And may maybe we're going to duplicate this guy. So we're going to call this one fill. And call this one background. Now can canvases work in, in a specific order. So we want the fill below here in the background so it shows above. So let's make the background a little bit of a darker green. So now if I scale him, as you can see, we can see that background in the in the background, right? And it looks like we have a health bar. Okay, so that is, and I'm just gonna put these both inside a of a game object just to keep it organized. The the other option and one that I would that I prefer to use is a slider. So you see these sliders and you get this ugly bar with the ugly handle. Um, let's change the name of this one. Health bar slider. So here, normally I take this handle and I just delete it. And then I take the fill area, and it has these offsets that kind of go with the handle and stuff. And I'm just going to zero all of those out. Same with on the fill area. I'm going to zero those out. Okay. So now I have what looks more like a health bar. I am going to go to the background. And let's, let's do a slightly different color. Let's go with a darker... And we'll go with a little bit of a brighter. See if that was <coughs> good enough for colors. Yeah, okay, so there we have this. Now you could take this bar and you could scale it up any way you want as well, make it look a little better. But there you have two kind of methods of how you can do a basic setup so far. 
Now with the slider, you can do whole numbers. So we're using ints, or you can uncheck that. So we're using floats. And then of course you have the max value and the min minimum value. So let's just say we're going to go with with that. Okay. Now if we come out of 2D, and we're going to come down and create a cube. Zero the cube out. Let's go to the cube. Okay, so what if this cube has health? <coughs> Let's give him an FSM. And actually here, let's to make these even, let's put this guy also at five. So he's at five and his scale's at five. So in this guy's FSM, we need and you can use a float or an int. I'm gonna use an int. We're gonna call it health. And we're gonna default that value to five. And we're gonna make another health called max health. And we're gonna default that value to five. So now we have health and a max health. So let's make an event called damage. I'm going to make that global and I'm going to add it here as a global transition damage. So if we get damaged, what are we going to do? We want to int add to our health. We're going to add negative one. Okay. Now we are going to create two variables because we need to reference our health bars. So one, I'm just going to drag the slider right over and then I'm going to drag over this fill. So let's change this one into scale fill bar. And that one's fine as the health bar slider. Okay, so we need to set scale. And we don't want the owner, but we want scale the fill bar we're scaling it on its X to the health right that's that guy right here you could also do sizes and stuff too if you want At this point in time we're just playing with numbers so there's that the other one is to set a slider value of the slider to health. Okay, so let's just finish that. So we, we received an event called damage. We're going to subtract one from our health and we're going to adjust both of our health bars. One by scale, one by slider. And down here, we can do a int compare. On the health, if it's zero, we are dead. If it's greater, we are alive. So now we have a dead and alive. <coughs> so let's just let's just do a debug. This is just info that goes into the console. 
so dead. And let's copy that, put it over here, and voila. Okay, so now we need a way to damage our cube. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to put a rigid body. And this is how we run gravity, but I'm going to put it to in, into chromatic. So now we can we can get triggers. I'll probably do a video on triggers. So here we're going to have another cube, and we're going to scale this box bigger. Just something like that. We're going to get rid of the mesh render and the mesh filter. We don't need them. We are going to say is trigger, and now we're going to add an FSM. Okay, now over here, we are going to add a global transition, but we're going to go down to these things here, go to system, on trigger, enter, right, we can do that, oh, actually no, we don't want to do that, let's just, let's just use the trigger event over here, be a little easier, I think, so trigger event, and it's the same options, trigger, enter, state, exit. So we're going to do on trigger, enter, uh, collider tag, any tag is fine. We're going to send the event we have triggered. And we're going to store what has triggered us. Right, so. <coughs> just to show you what this kind of does for now. If I grab this box in the editor view and I'm just going to move them over, I come over and I've hit that trigger and I can see the cube has triggered us. All right, nothing happens, but we're getting to that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to send an event a game object FSM to a specific game object to what has triggered us and we should probably name this FSM you don't have to uh, some people just leave them empty I'd like to name mine I'm going to call that one health so over here when we send an event we're going to say we want the health FSM and we want damage and then we will finish that and go right back over here. Because this is only going to trigger on the on trigger enter. It doesn't happen with the on trigger state. So it's only going to happen once. Right? So if I take this guy and I drag him over, boop, both their health went down, right? Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Oh, we have an input issue. That's ah, because I was playing with rewired earlier. Don't worry about that. Of course, we don't have our debug log working. I don't know why. Oh, we're at negative two. Wow. So that's easy to do. We just add in another one. If we're less than zero, we're still dead. We haven't come alive yet. Right, so we're alive, but something happened. We are alive, 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 dead, and still dead. So that's kind of how we do UI health bars, and well, and also I guess some, some trigger events. Now, with the trigger event, you do need a rigid body somewhere because that's what actually is triggering everything here and catching the callbacks. But anyways, so there's a short video on UI health bars. Catch you in the next one.